Hello and welcome to the class Algorithmic Trading Strategies. This is part of Expertise Data Science for Finance and my name is Nick Ferruzzi. First of all, the agenda. The agenda is broken into five parts. First part is an industry overview and review of mathematics. As part of the industry overview, we, we consider the alternatives industry, one subsegment of money management, and in particular hedge funds, which is a, a very large subsegment sub of that. An, a, an element of the hedge fund industry is managed futures, CTAs, and quant funds. That will be our focus. We have to know where it fits, how it's growing, and how it's growing at the expense of other types of strategies. Then we will cover some of the math review, the review of the mathematics that's necessary in order for us to continue, which is primarily time series analysis. And so we'll be covering time series throughout the course, but in particular we'll start with some of the, the basics in the math review. The second section is on momentum or trend following. This is the most prevalent of quant, uh, of quant strategies and in some sense the easiest, but at the same, same time, in spite of its ease, or seeming ease, there are many interesting design choices that can lead to very different outcomes. And we look at the outcomes, the various different pros and cons of them, and, and what, we, what we know to, to be true of any of them, and, um, and how the design choices may affect all of those. In section three, we cover mean reversion and relative value. Mean reversion is the underlying premise of most relative value strategies, although mean reversion can go far beyond relative value. Mean reversion is, in some sense, the, the, um, the return that can be you know, given, um, that can be had by giving liquidity to the market. Mean reversion is basically the type of, strat the type of return that comes from most high-frequency trading strategies, although we will focus on slightly lower-frequency strategies. Section four, we cover carry, value, and portfolio strategies. Carry is the primary source of return for most long-only funds, as well as many, many trading ideas out there. And everyone tries to avoid negative carry strategies, if at all possible. Carry is something that pays for many strategies. This is something that we have to understand, in spite of the fact that carry returns can be very erratic, and sometimes can lead to significant underperformance, carry is an important part of a diversified portfolio. And this is true of value as well, because you may have heard that value doesn't always work, but value is, again, an important source of diversification. And we look at portfolio strategies as a way of combining all of these strategies into, into broader, more stable performance. Finally, we look at the curse of overfitting. This is a significant concern in this industry because many, many people suffer from overfitting. There are many things that can be done about it and many adjustments that can be made. Much of this is actually new and ongoing research, but overfitting is something that doesn't just hurt fund management or algorithmic trading, it's also a problem in science in general, as you may have heard of p-hacking or irreproducible results. This is just our own form of the same problem, and we'll go into some detail into how to avoid it. As I mentioned, my name is Nick Ferruzzi. I have a PhD in mathematics from Quran Institute. I was also formerly an assistant professor. I've been in the industry for about 20 years now. Currently, I'm an MD at Nomura, having been at Lehman, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, and several buy-side shops, including Citadel and Sanford Bernstein. I'm currently an honorary senior lecturer at University College London, having recently taught a course in algorithmic trading strategies. These are our topic, the markets. This is our goal, making order out of chaos. So is this just a question of putting together robotics or AI or machine learning, something which is always in the news, and markets? Or is there something more subtle at work here? What I hope to show you is that all the different strategies out there, just out of the box, don't necessarily work. Some of the coolest, most, uh, you know, most intricate machine learning based strategies may work in certain applications where you have very, very large data sets. In our area of, of concern, there may be some large data sets, but in many cases in dealing with the market itself, it, there may not necessarily be. And as a consequence, the more complex the strategy, 
the more the more chance of, of the cursive overfitting. So there is some there are some subtleties and nuances that uh, that underlie algorithmic trading strategies. They're not necessarily true of using machine learning in areas such as uh, fitting consumer um, consumer behavior in Amazon and Google.